Hey you guys, it's Christina, and I'm really excited to share a piece of my life with you today. I'm gonna be taking you around the farm with me today, a day in the farm life of Fully Raw Christina. And many people are always asking me to do a day in the life video. But for those of you who know me know that I have to wear many different hats sometimes. I run the largest nonprofit food cooperative in Texas called Rawfully Organic, and not only do I spend a lot of my time at co-op, but I spend a lot of my time at farms. Sometimes I make YouTube videos, sometimes I'm with my family, and so every day for me is different. So I thought a cool idea would be for me to make a series of A Day in the Life videos where you can see little bits and pieces of my life here and there. I'm gonna make more Day in the Life videos for you in the future, but for right now, I'm gonna show you a day in the farm life of Fully Raw Christina. This place is a humongously important place of my past and an incredibly stable, loving, and peaceful place of my here and now. So I'm excited to share it with you. Are you ready to get fresh picking? Let's go. I am in the middle of a giant carrot field and right behind me I have a giant broccoli and purple kale field. Right behind you there is a kohlrabi and beet patch, a humongous row of dill and more broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower and every other vegetable you can probably think of. I stand here in the middle of Gunderman Acres and for most of you who know that I run Rawfully Organic, the co-op in Texas, this is one of the largest organic farms in Texas, and it is our official largest farm that we grow fruits and vegetables from. When I first started the co-op, we started buying produce from this farm specifically, and it only had 33 acres of land. And over the past eight years, we have raised enough money and we've received enough support from people buying organic fruits and vegetables from the co-op that this farm has been able to buy more land and it now has over 400 acres worth of organic soil to grow organic fruits and vegetables. As you see behind me, there are acres and acres of beautiful farm field that I'm gonna be taking you around. For me, this place is home, it is peace, it is love, and it's being a part of nature that you just don't get being inside of the city. So, let me take you to my favorite fields and show you some of my favorite crops. The coolest part about being on a farm is getting to find really cool things to eat. And whether these are little beautiful organic gems and diamonds literally in the rough, or maybe it's perhaps that you just get to pick what you eat, that is probably the best experience of being in the farm, is literally being in the middle of a field and being able to pick something fresh and put it in your mouth. So as I'm here in the middle of literally a turnip field that appears to be dead, I'm gonna show you that there are actually some really crazy things that you can pull out of a dead turnip field. Literally, turnips the size of my head. People are always asking me what to do with any type of root vegetables, and my first response is I love shredding them and putting them on a salad with some type of a citrus tahini dressing that I've made in my previous YouTube videos. But, you know, I always tell people that a little dirt never hurt, and real food grows in dirt. This right here is truly magical. Love this. Are you ready to make a salad? I am in the middle of a lettuce field, and I'm excited to show you a few different varieties of greens. So, for instance, this one right here, I'm picking for dinner, and this is romaine. Many of you guys may know that. It's very frequently found in grocery stores, but this here is fresh picked and so beautiful. And right behind me, I have, even though that it is all flowered up, it is red leaf lettuce, and it's kind of like a lettuce tower. Usually when lettuce grows and it's done growing, it'll start growing upward. And the coolest part about this is you can literally just peel off some of the leaves and allow it to keep growing, and you can pick enough for your salad that night. 
so you can see this beautiful butter leaf lettuce here, fresh from the earth to your table. Absolutely delicious. Mm. The difference of eating local fruits and vegetables or picking your own food is, it's, it's just a different experience. Not only does the food taste richer and it tastes better and more flavorful, but just the entire experience of getting to pick your own food or to eat food that's grown near you, you simply taste the difference. I know when I'm out in the middle of a field, people are always like, well, don't you wash your fruits and your vegetables? But I have to be 100% honest with you. When I am out in the middle of a field, the last thing that I'm thinking about is where can I get a sink to wash my fruits and vegetables? Most likely I'm just peeling off leaves here and there and trying them and you know, a little dirt never hurt. I love eating fresh out of the field. Something that you'll learn a lot when you visit a farm is that farmers rotate their greens. Just like you learn to rotate your ripe food in your home so that you're always eating the ripest food first, farmers rotate their greens, that way they always have something growing and something to pick during every season. So because food grows seasonally and because you don't want to grow everything all at once, you're going to have different fields where you would grow different crops and even different fields where you grow the same crops as to make sure that you have this product or this produce, this food, as much of the year as possible. So I am standing in the middle of a baby spinach field, baby spinach that is absolutely precious and delicious and so rich and creamy the second that you put it in your mouth. And you can just tell the difference when you pick fresh greens. The most nutrient rich greens are grown with the richest soils, with plenty of sunshine and with abundant water. Look who I found in the strawberry greenhouse. I would like to introduce you to Mama Joan. Say hi, Mama Joan. Hello. Many of you may not know Mama Joan, but Mama Joan has actually been one of the most influential people in my life and helped to raise me. I have known, I have known you for more than 10 years now. Yes. Since I was just mm -hmm. a teenager when I used to come here and scavenge the farm <laughs> and come and have a just so much fun with her whole family, which you will get to meet very soon. And so today we have found ourselves in the strawberry greenhouse. Do you want to tell us something, anything about this beautiful place where you grow organic strawberries? These are grown hydroponically, which means we've got black tubes that go into the top and then it filters the water down to the bottom and that's how they get all their nutrients. That's how they get water and things like that and they grow. And so it is strawberry season right now so they've been picking quite a few for us at co-op and they've been fresh and abundant. And I think just Saturday we had thousands and thousands of strawberries come in in pallets and they were so delicious. Oh wow, that one survived the freeze we had, the last freeze we had and it was trying to grow and normally would grow like this normally like that. But you know what, right. I always tell people that ugly food tastes better. That's right. right. Imperfection <laughs> is beauty. If a strawberry looks really funky looking, it still tastes beautiful. It just looks super organic and unique. Mm -hmm. I, right? come, I come and eat them every evening. <laughs> <laughs> we are in my old stomping grounds in the tomato house. And the Gundermans are known for their tomatoes. That's where they started. I absolutely love your tomatoes. Do you want us to tell us a little bit about how Garrett was able to create this magical tomato land in here? Sure. He first started off with the greenhouse we have up front. Um, and that was how long ago? Oh gosh, she was in high school, mm -hmm. probably a freshman even. And the money he made from that, he bought eight more greenhouses. And from that, the next year he was able to buy these greenhouses. Yeah. And he tore them down almost all by himself, along with a few buddies he connived into helping him. <laughs> just have some summer fun. Just just a little bit. But um, um, that's how he got his start. Absolutely. And Garrett has been growing tomatoes for Rawfully Organic for almost eight years now. At least. Right? And it's so every more. year we get 
crates and crates and crates of the best tomatoes ever. Mm -hmm. And that money goes towards here, making all of this magic happen and growing more tomatoes, which is another reason why supporting your local organic farmer makes a difference. No, okay. he never stops. Every oh, year, he doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. He picked up 290 acres three years ago, and he's been drilling his own water wells, which is incredible unto itself. And he's just now getting the electricity out to it so he can water all those fields. That's pretty awesome. We did an interview with Garrett and Stacy just a little bit earlier, and they'll get to see that as well and talk about how um, we all work together in a community and make this farm happens that rock That's can true. have more fruits and vegetables and it's been it's been really cool to watch happen and to watch evolve we watched you grow and you watched us grow isn't that kind of crazy we grew together we did we grew together <laughs> So we are now on the other side of the farm and we are literally standing in between the peach trees and the fig trees. And Mama Joan, you were just telling me that these fig bushes, these fig trees are literally almost 20 years old. Yes, these are 20 years old. The peach trees are 15 years and I've got one native uh, fig that's 30 years old. And every time you guys harvest, I can't I just can't even begin to describe how amazingly delicious your figs are. They just melt in your mouth. Yes, I post them all the time, just pictures of these figs that you open and they literally just melt in your hands because they're that good. These are descendant from the turkey figs. From the turkey figs. We originally had three trees that a neighbor gave us. It was an experimental variety from LSU and it didn't hold up in shipping, so they destroyed all the trees. So we have one of the few only trees in the whole United States. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so we named them the Gunderman Figs. So you named them the Gunderman Fig. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to talk about your peaches a little bit because every single year we get the best peaches from you guys. Mm -hmm. We get truckloads of fresh peaches. So, I mean, there's everything on this farm from green fields to fruit trees and greenhouses and more. You guys mm -hmm. are fully sustainable, yes. right? Fully sustainable. It's a family farm and I love being able to come whenever I want and be able to have some type of fresh meal ready to make. And That's you guys fine. supply for Roffler Organic year round. So, all I can say is thank you and for letting us see the farm. Sure, anytime. Thank you, Mama Joan. <laughs> Love you too. My absolute favorite place on this farm is the kale field. And I'm standing in the middle of it right now. This is the dinosaur kale and there's also the curly leaf kale. I probably spend a good hour or two in here on my own if I absolutely can because munching and picking on the kale with cherry tomatoes is probably one of my absolute favorite things to do and so I just wanted to show you this field because kale is my favorite green. It is just my absolute favorite green and one day I will be married in a kale dress, you hear. But in the meantime, I will just appreciate its beauty and all of the nutrient rich value that it offers to this world. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my beautiful kale field. I think it's appropriate to end my day drinking fresh orange juice, freshly squeezed orange juice in the middle of a beautiful sunflower field. I cannot even tell you how blessed I feel just to be able to come here and to share this part of my life with you and I'm so glad that you came and I hope that you have enjoyed this fun day at the farm. If you have liked this video and if you want more like it and if you support your local farmers and if you love eating organic, fresh, local produce, then I think that you should give this video a thumbs up. If you guys need more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun drinking juice in the fields together. <laughs> if you guys want to see where I'm farming, see what I'm drinking, or see what I'm doing, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. And for free email newsletter updates, don't forget to subscribe at FullyRaw.com. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go and finish enjoying the rest of this beautiful juice and the rest of this beautiful field. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the day as well. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye.
Even the popo come to the farm farm. Woo-wee, he be Speedy Gonzalez. Out of here. Getting low, getting low. In the middle of the sunflower field. I mean, look at this. It's like sunflower fields forever. It's never ending sunflowers. Are you looking at this? This could be an everlasting love. This could be.